everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Casey and you're watching The Chowdown. I'm just in a random corner in my house because this is literally the only spot that has good lighting. So we're just gonna roll with it. It is September and two of my favorite things start this month. One being fall and two being football. So with that being said, I have three game day appetizer recipes for you. I have buffalo chicken nachos. I have this cheddar bacon ranch dip, which is amazing. And then I also have Reuben sliders, which by far were my favorite. Yeah, yep, the Reuben sliders were definitely my favorite recipe of the three. Um, these recipes are really easy, by no means healthy. Definitely for cheat days, but like any game day is a cheat day, right? If you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and let's get into the recipes. So we are going to start off with the cheddar bacon ranch cheese dip slash cheese ball. And in a mixing bowl, I'm going to combine two eight ounce packages of cream cheese with one packet of ranch seasoning mix. And I'm going to mix these ingredients really well with a rubber spatula. You could also use a hand mixer, which would probably be a lot easier than this method, but this works fine if you don't have one. And then I'm going to add a half cup of cheddar cheese, as well as a half cup of chopped bacon. I just cooked this bacon up on the stovetop before I mixed it in. And then you're going to mix these ingredients in really well as well. You can also adjust the amount of bacon and cheddar you add to your personal preference. And then I'm going to take a baking sheet lined with wax paper and I'm going to dump my cheese mixture onto the wax paper. And with my rubber spatula, I'm going to start forming a football shape. Now this step is completely optional, but I think it provides a nice presentation if you're bringing this dip to a party. So you're just going to want to form a loose football shape. And then I'm going to take plastic wrap and cover the cheese mixture with the plastic wrap. And then with my hands, I'm going to form it into more of a football shape. I'm going to pinch the ends and flatten the top. And just keep playing with it until you get a shape that you're happy with. If your cheese mixture is too soft, just pop it into the fridge for about 15 minutes and that should help. Once you have a shape that you're happy with, you're going to want to take the rest of your chopped bacon and mix that with some chopped scallions. And you're going to cover the entire cheese ball with this mixture. If you're bringing this to a party, you, you might want to use gloves for this step, but I wasn't bringing this anywhere, so I just washed my hands really well. Uh, so you're just going to cover the entire cheese mold and gently press the bacon and scallions into the sides. And to finish off the look, I just cut up a slice of cheese into strips to form the laces of the football. This dip goes great with crackers, chips, and veggies. Uh, for this platter, I served it with Ritz crackers, tortilla chips, and baby carrots. The next recipe is buffalo chicken nachos, and this recipe is actually so easy. I'm going to start off with a pan over low heat, and I'm going to add two ounces of cream cheese, a half cup of buffalo sauce, and a quarter cup of ranch. And I'm going to heat this and stir constantly, just letting the cream cheese melt and mix everything together. It's going to take about five to eight minutes. Once your cream cheese is melted and everything is mixed together well, you're going to add your chicken. I have about a half a pound here and I am using rotisserie style chicken from my deli. That's what makes this recipe super easy. Um, you don't have to cook any chicken, um, but if you want, you can also cook up a chicken breast and shred it. Uh, and you're just going to mix that well with the sauce, so it's going to look something like this. Now I'm going to build my nachos in this cast iron pan, but you could also just put them on a baking sheet. And I'm just going to go ahead and layer my tortilla chips, my chicken, and some cheddar cheese. And I was able to fit two layers in my pan. And then you're just going to put this in a 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes or until your cheese has melted. Once your dip is out of the oven, just garnish with some scallions and you're all set. Mm -hmm. 
And the last recipe, and by far my favorite of the three, are these Reuben sliders. And I'm going to start off by cutting this 12 pack of Hawaiian dinner rolls in half horizontally. And I'm going to place the bottom half into a casserole dish. And I'm going to put a small square of Thousand Island dressing onto each roll. And then I'm going to follow that up with one slice of corned beef per roll. And then some sauerkraut. Overall, I used about a half cup of sauerkraut. And these are just the proportions that I like the best, but you can definitely adjust these based on your personal preference. And then on top of the sauerkraut, I'm going to add a nice layer of Swiss cheese. I just like really cheesy sliders, so I added two layers here. Once you have all your ingredients layered up, you're going to place your sliders into a 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes or until your cheese is nice and melted. Meanwhile, I'm going to make the butter mixture for the top of my sliders. I have about three tablespoons of melted butter here, and to that I'm adding a teaspoon of garlic, a half teaspoon of parsley, half teaspoon of ground onion powder, a little bit of brown mustard, and I'm just going to mix that really well. Once you take your sliders out of the oven, you're going to add the tops of the rolls and spread on a nice layer of the butter mixture. Once you've done that, you're going to place your sliders back in the oven for about five minutes or until the tops are nice and golden brown. And that is recipe number three. So good guys, you definitely have to try this recipe. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please let me know which recipe was your favorite. Also, question of the day. Do you like college football, NFL football, or both? Please make sure you subscribe for more recipe videos and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, you're so cute. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness, thank you. Now go lay down. Wrong way. <laughs> And she's back. <laughs> Excuse me. Can you not? Thanks. What? I'm never gonna get a film. They won't leave me alone. I can't. I can't. NFL football.